And there you have it, a quick summary of the data, no pivot table required. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Power Query tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily summarize our data using the group by function in Power Query. Normally, we could do this using a simple pivot table, but I want to show you a really easy way to do it in Power Query using group by. So let's get started. We have some data here, basically a list of passengers that were on board the Titanic and some details about those passengers. I'll link the data set in the description in case you want to follow along. Let's get started. Of course, the first thing that we need to do is import our data into the Power Query editor. So let's go ahead and first we'll convert this data range to a table. We'll hit Control T on our keyboard. Hit OK. So we've automatically converted that into a table. Now let's import it into the Power Query editor. We're going to go to the data tab here in the ribbon and we're going to click from table or range and give that a second to load. And we can see here our data has been loaded into the Power Query editor. Let's give our table a name. We'll call it passenger data, or you could call it whatever you please. Now we're going to summarize our data using the group by feature. But before we do that, I think it's always a good idea to clean up your data a bit before you start using it. So for example, we have our gender column here. And let's go ahead and right click the column name. We'll click transform and we can do a trim. Right click again, transform. Let's do a clean. Right click again, transform. Let's uppercase it. So we can see here that we've trimmed, cleaned, and uppercased our gender column just to standardize it, make it a little bit easier to read. Always a good idea. So now that we've cleaned up our data a bit, let's go ahead and do a group by to quickly summarize our data. So all we have to do is click this group by function here in the ribbon, we'll open that, and we'll just do a basic group by, by gender, and we'll just leave the default here column. So we're going to group by gender, and we're going to summarize our data using this count column, which is essentially going to count all of the rows. Let's hit OK. And there you have it. You can see that we have a quick summary of our data. Now we had 577 males and 314 females. So that's a simple way to summarize your data. But what if we want to do something a little bit more complex? So you can go over to the steps here in the Power Query editor where we grouped the rows and you see this little gear icon. Let's click that. We can get back into our group by settings. And now we're going to do something a little bit more advanced. So let's go ahead and click the advanced button here. And here you can see that we can add additional groupings. So let's go ahead and add another grouping. And this time we're going to sort by passenger class, whether they were first class, second class, or third class. And then we'll group by gender. So first we're grouping by class, then by gender. And similar to before, we can have the count for each grouping, uh, but we can also add other aggregations here. So let's go ahead and add another aggregation. And let's see what our options are. We can do a sum. And let's call this the sum of the fares. So we have a column in our data set called fare. So we'll take the sum of all the fares for each grouping. Let's do one more aggregation. Check out our options here. We can do the average, and we'll call this average fair. In our drop down here, let's click fair. So, to summarize, we are going to group by class, then by gender, and for our groupings, we're going to return the count, the sum of the fares and the average fares for each group. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And there we have it. We can see that we have in third class, well, let's first of all go ahead and sort this, make it a little bit easier to read. We can see that in first class we had 94 females who paid a total of $99.75. The average fare though was a hung, around $106. For third class, we had 347 males 
they paid $4,393 in total to get on board the Titanic, an average of $12 if you were a male and you wanted to ride third class in the Titanic. So there it is, a quick summary of the data. Another thing we can do is go ahead and close and load. This will load our summary into a nice little spreadsheet here. And there you have it, a quick summary of the data, no pivot table required. And the great thing about it is that if you update any of the data in the range here, for example, if we wanted to delete rows or add rows or change rows, we can do that. So let's do a quick example here. We'll go ahead and delete some of these rows. We can go back to our summary table here that we created in the Power Query Editor. We're going to right click and hit refresh. And you can see that our counts, our summary figures, they automatically refreshed based on the changes that we made in the source table. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next.